you'd love to write a digital note that's both joyful and beautiful using every feature goodness has to offer, you are in exactly the right place. Not only will this clip help you get started if you are feeling lost, but I will also be sharing truly detailed tips and tricks gained from most of hands-on experience that you simply may not have seen yet. You will also find a quick 30 minute tutorial to help you get up to speed through this video. But here, I'll be diving into the details of each tool step by step. Everything from page size to pen tool, pencil, highlighter, eraser, lasso, tape, shapes, ruler, element, image, text, sticky note, laser, and timekeeper. Over the next six weeks, I'll be sharing in-depth tutorials on each one, so by the end, you will be absolutely nailing your digital templates. To kick things off, this video will focus on page size and the pen tool. We'll explore the optimal page settings, the zoom window tool, pen settings, including seven tools, different pen types, and the color palette. Plus, I've got some brilliant freebies to share that will make your writing even more enjoyable. So, don't miss out. Setting the correct page size is crucial if you want your writing to be readable and comfortable. Good News offers plenty of free basic templates to write when you open it and you can choose the size and color that best fit your needs. Let's compare A4, goodness standard, and my own custom template. On my 11-inch iPad Air screen, writing on an A4 page makes my nose look tiny. The goodness standard template is tailored to the iPad's dimensions, which makes reading comfy, I still find my hand has to move far more than it would on real paper. I soon realized that was because the squares are a bit big for my writing style. That said, everyone has their own writing style though. If you'd like to try my template, Pop over to the video linked here and grab it for free. Now, let's go through the zoom window tool, which makes writing so much easier and neater. You can shift the zoom box using these buttons. And on the left, you can set boundaries for the zoom area, so it only moves within the blue lines. Let's have a look at the pen settings. It might all seem a bit much at first glance. Take stroke stabilization for example. Watch my writing with it set at 0%. You will notice the lattice look a bit wobbly. If I bump it up to 10%, my writing instantly looks tidier and much steadier. This tweak also has saved me loads of time, so I highly recommend giving it a go. Have a play and see what suits your style best. With good notes, you can set the spell check recognition language. There are 17 options, so just choose your favorite. Turn on check handwriting spelling and the app will scan your handwriting for typos. If it spots an error, tap the word and you will get suggestions. Goodness can fix it for you, handwriting and all, but I prefer to rewrite any corrections myself. Switch on the draw and hold feature and you can whip up neat shapes directly in pen mode. No need to switch tools. Just draw a shape and hold your stylus for a second and goodness will instantly tidy up your drawing. 
If fill color is enabled, your shape will be filled in straight away. As for snap to other shapes, I've not seen much difference with it either way, to be honest. Pen gestures let you erase your writing with just a scribble. Scribble over a beat you want gone, and it disappears. Bear in mind, this gesture doesn't work in the zoom window tool. You can even exclude highlighters and shapes from being erased if you want to protect them. Sometimes the classic eraser tool is more effective, especially if you want to erase a highlighter over your writing. Lastly, draw a rough circle, click in again, and then switch to the lasso tool to move your drawing. Writing aids don't just track your spelling, there are advanced settings too. For example, you can add custom words so goodness won't flag them as mistakes. If you change your mind, just delete them. For anyone needing extra help with math, these tools are lifesaver. Write your formula, tap it, and you will see suggestions for expanding your working. The first time you use it, it might take a few moments to set up. There are three pen types in good news. First up, the fountain pen. There are lots of settings here, but I usually stick with default tip sharpness and pressure sensitivity. Adjust the tip flatness for a more authentic fountain pen feel. Set it to 33% and you will really see the difference. Find what feels right for you. The brush pan is next. Its settings are mostly the same. And I love using this for titles or artwork. Pressure sensitivity is key here. I prefer it on the lower side so I can control the thickness. I downloaded a calligraphy template from Pinterest brilliant for practicing. But I use these mainly with the ball pen. I go for sizes like 0.25mm, 0.3 and 0.35mm. And now, the fun bit is color. That's one of the best things about digital writing. You can use as many colors as you like. I'm sharing my own color palette on my website, so feel free to download it. To 
add the colors in GoodNotes. Save the image. Head to the image tool. Import the palette from your photos. And then, on the pen tool, go to the color tab and tap the blank circle at the end. Go down to the bottom. Then tap the pencil icon on the top right. Then, you can mirror any colors on the template. Once the color is collected, click the plus button. Then, you don't have to insert the hex code. With digital notes, you've got a whole new world to enjoy. It's a fresh take on writing that brings loads of possibilities. And if you ever found digital templates a bit of a headache, don't worry. After today, those frustrations will be a thing of the past. My aim is to help you get truly versatile with your writing. Try out these tips and see just how enjoyable creating your own digital notes can be. Next time, we'll talk about the pencil tool, highlighter, and eraser. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel so you won't miss out. Thanks for watching. See you soon.